Well, hello, sports fans. It's Larry Eater with Run Blog Run. I'm in San Jose, California, and my partner in this lovely discussion, this coffee clutch, is Stuart Weir in Oxford, England. Uh, this is number six now. Last week, I identified Stuart as number six. It was actually number five. I was just anticipating this week, so sorry about that. That's all right. Just how, this once. How are you doing today? Um, I have been on the golf course. Um, the sun okay. is shining in Oxford, England, which is not that usual. Wow. Wow. That's pre- now, is the sun still out or has it already come down? No, the sun's still out. I could, I could even, I could even point my, wow. my camera towards the garden. Totally cool. I, it, that's you know one of the things that I love when I'm in uh, Europe during the summers. You know, mm. Gothenburg. I remember that in '95. I yeah. think the sun was up till almost midnight and came. Yeah, back the up further and, north you go. Yeah, that keeps mm. it kind of fun. So, mm. I actually sent you some topics early on. Um, yes. Today, I know it's kind of scary for me. Um, let me see where I actually have them right here. So I'm, it's the wonders of technology, Stuart. Someday I will actually, you know, get it all figured out. Um, the big event that happened over the weekend was the, the death of Sven Arne uh, Hansen, the president of European Athletics. Um, and I think that was quite sad. You said you had not met him. Had you been on any of the media events, or I have never really had a conversation with him. I mean, I've I've seen him. I have said hello to him, but uh, I don't know him. Uh-huh. But everyone speaks well of him. Yeah, and also that he's while he is the president, that sometimes can just be an honorary title. He was a very active president, and of course, for years, he ran the Bislett um, event, which is now the Oslo Diamond League, but I mean, he, he was the meet director, so he's very much a man of the sport, and I thought it was very noticeable that how many people on social media commented um, about how sad it was. I mean, he had this stroke, I think it was in June, and we knew that was serious. Yeah. Uh, and there were questions as to whether he would ever return to his um, position. And sadly, he has died. Yeah, no, I, um, Patty, or um, who is it now, Pierce uh, O'Callaghan, um, um, who works at the European Athletics and World Athletics, did a moving tribute to him on Twitter. We'll get it put up today. Uh, we're going to do a little more of a historical piece on him, but um, what he did alone with the Beastlet Games was pretty impressive mm-hmm. in making that such a wonderful uh, event. Wendy Sly spoke movingly about being able to um, compete against Greta Vates there, and uh, I just remember Fernando Mamed and Carlos Lopes running um, near world record for 10,000 meters there. Mm-hmm. Um, among other things, and all the amazing mile races. And um, I finally got some time with him in 2013 in Gothenburg. Uh, he did an event for the media, and very relaxed, very affable. Every time I saw him, he had something nice to say. He was a, a, a back slapper. You know, he knew how to get stuff done. But he really, I think, upgraded the prestige of European athletics, which I think Mm -hmm. is really important. And um, they, in a lot of ways, there's a lot of things that they do communications wise, event wise, especially reaching out to the young people that the other global federations can learn from. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, um, it's going to be interesting to see how the interim president um, is it Dob- uh, Dobermoff, uh, uh, is it, I'm going to destroy his last name, but, um, the new Bul- the Bulgarian who is the senior vice president of uh, European athletics. Mm-hmm. And I've met him in several things. He, he's, a, was a good friend of, uh, Sven's. So I hope that the legacy of Sven Arnie Hansen continues and, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. we'll keep our fingers crossed and, you know, keep, uh, 
his family and friends in our prayers because um, hey, he was he, he had a stroke, but in March, um, uh, Pierce uh, noted that Pierce Canlan noted that uh, he last time he spoke to him was in mid April and that he was in a lot of pain and uh, just not doing well. And uh, Robert Wagner, the agent, told me that he had been uh, hearing from him in March and April and that he had you know it just it was tough a tough go and it's sad to see him go so young 